What's up, my beautifuls? It's Tawana Michelle here with Live Beautifully Natural. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm gonna just give my two cents about the whole Monique uh, issue. Um, as you all know by now, Monique put that video out about um, how girls don't need to be going out with their bonnets and their robes and their slippers and how they need to take pride in their, themselves and look decent when they leave the house. So let me know what y'all think about that. Leave it in the comment section down below what y'all think about that. Um, and I'll tell you what I think, y'all. I have, I have uh, mixed feelings about it. And I think it's two parts. The first part to me is that whether or not I agree with what she's saying, I was raised, I'm an older woman. Monique is an older woman. Those of us um, of a, a different generation, we were raised differently. Um, some of us, I ain't gonna say everybody, but for the most part, us Generation Xers, um, we didn't, we weren't allowed to walk out our house looking any kind of way um, with our hair wrapped up in rollers and robes and slippers and stuff like that. When you left the house, you had to look presentable at least decent. You didn't have to be made up and all that, but you had to look decent. Um, and so because I was raised that way and that's kind of what I've done. Um, and I believe that I agree with that. I do, I really do. Um, like I said, I, I don't think you gotta, you know, do a whole lot, but for the most part, if you can, yeah, why not? Take your bonnet off, take your robe off, take your pajama pants off, throw on something comfortable. You know, you can put your hair in a cute little hat, throw it back in a ponytail, whatever, you know. But the bottom line is, I, I agree with the gist of what she's saying. I agree with the message. Um, but on the other hand, I do understand how it's not always convenient. There are women out here, single mothers, trying to do everything you know, for themselves and their families and their kids. They gotta run out of the house in a hurry. They gotta take the kids this place, that place. They gotta go pick up groceries. They gotta cook. It's just so much to be done. And they don't always have time. So I get that. And I think that's okay. If something comes up at the last minute, you gotta run out the last minute. You don't have time to get yourself together. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, so, you know, there's that part of it. Um, I guess it's three parts. <laughs> the second part to me is that, although I understand um, how it, you know, it, it may not always be convenient for people to get themselves together. And I understand that for the most part, you know, as a woman, you do wanna try and look halfway decent when you step out the house. But I also think it's nobody's business, okay? I also think we need to stop judging people. Even if we have a thought about it, even if we don't like it, um, you don't know what people are going through. You don't know what their lifestyle is like. You don't know what is going on in their life. You don't know what kind of day that person is having when you see them out at the store, she, airport, wherever she mentioned, and they're looking how they're looking. You know, and speaking of the airport, imagine somebody got a phone call that a loved one, you know, was sick and they had to get out of their bed, run to the airport, hop on a plane to get to, you know, a sick family member. You just never know. So you can't really judge people like that when you don't have all the facts. And then the third part, and this is what really bothers me the most, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. The third part of this is if Monique really cares, and I'm not saying she doesn't, um, I just think there's a, there are better ways that she could have gotten her message out and, and she could have reached younger women who she thinks need her help. She could have joined or created a mentoring organization. She could do some one-on-one -on -one coaching. She could do some group coaching. like. She could have reached these people in a way where not only would she have 
been able to reach them directly, but she would have had a greater impact. She is a public figure who used a her public platform to call these girls out. To them, I get it. I get how that feels. That would feel like a confrontation. That seems like a kind of aggressive approach. It also seems to me very shaming. You know, we don't need to be shaming people into acting right by calling them out in front of everybody. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm from an older generation. Um, back in the day, parents would shame you. Now, my parents didn't do this, but I know some people's parents would go to their school and whip them. These are back in the day when you could whip your kids. They would go to the school and they would whip their kids or whatever, make their kids do something to embarrass them. We even see some of that now on social media, the parents shaming kids on Instagram and Facebook and other types of social media outlets. And so it's like the route that she chose to take um, was not only inappropriate, it was ineffective. It's not reaching people, it's having the opposite effect. So if you really want to get your message out there and you really wanna help someone, it, you have to realize it's not just about I'm going to say what I want to say. You have to really consider the most effective way, the best way. How are these people going to hear what I'm saying and receive it in a way that it makes a difference in their lives? Just calling them out on social media ain't going to do that. So it's like the message got lost in the delivery. The message got lost when everybody had to focus on the fact that she calling people out in front of everybody. Now, when I say in front of everybody, I'm talking about in front of the whole world. We know we have issues within our own community that need to be addressed, but it needs to be addressed within our own community. And it needs to be addressed in a way that is gonna help. And then she made a video responding to that, basically saying how it was out of love, of course, and um, how someone helped her she said, Patty LaBelle, she tapped me on the shoulder and you know, she helped me. That's how it's supposed to be done, people. Monique, that's how it's supposed to be done. You have someone come to you one-on-one -on -one and tap you on the shoulder and say, young sister, let me help you out. That's all we're saying. That's all I'm saying. You have to have a relationship with people. You have to at least have a rapport with people to confront them about something you think they need to change. If you don't, what what makes you think they gonna listen to you? Why would they listen to you? They're not going to. Your message is gonna be met with hostility. It's gonna be met with rejection. It's gonna be met with rebellion. Now you got people going out in their bonnets who normally would not have <laughs> because they're basically acting out and rebelling against the message. And that's what it's all about, y'all. So do I agree with what she said? I do, absolutely, 100%. Do I agree with the way she did it? Nah, I don't. I don't think it was effective. I think it was more hurtful. You know, when you are, like I said, trying to help someone, you have to consider the best way to do it and ask yourself, is this gonna cause more harm? Is this gonna cause more damage than it is good? Um, and at the end of the day that, you know, it, it did, she did not get, um, the results that she was looking for. And I know a lot of people support her and like, well, it need to be said. She said what she said. It didn't need to be, it did not need to be said in that way in front of the whole world. Um, it just, it, it, it feels a little cringy because it is. So I think her intent was good. Um, but the delivery was wrong. And so if anyone's watching this and you have had thoughts about wanting to confront someone about something that maybe you don't like, first of all, you have, do you know them? Just because you're a public figure don't mean you can say whatever you want to anybody. These people don't know you like that. They watch you, they follow you. They might even call you auntie, but at the end of the day, they don't know you like that. So you don't just have the right to say whatever you want to say. Like I said, if you want to start a group, or a mentoring program or coaching sessions, do that. But otherwise, you know, they don't know you like that. And so 
you do have to ask yourself, do these people know me? Are they going to be receptive to what I'm saying? Am I delivering my message in an appropriate and helpful way? Is the platform that I'm using uh, helpful in this situation? Am I going to make a difference? Am I going to do more harm than good? You just have to. You can't You can't feel like I'm a public figure. I can say whatever I want. You cannot. <laughs> But anyway, that's all I wanted to say, y'all. That is my take on this whole situation. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to address it. And by the way, if you like these earrings, these are um, gold-plated large hoop chain-like earrings. Y'all, comment down below if you're interested in these earrings. My email is also in, my, uh, in the description box. I am selling these earrings. I'm in the process of opening a store, but I don't have all of that together at the moment, but I do have the uh, the products that I'm selling. So if you're interested, um, leave a comment or shoot me an email and then um, we can talk about that and I can get these out to you. I think they're so cute. Not only are they so cute, y'all, these things are super lightweight. When I first got them, I was I did I, I wasn't really sure so I only actually ordered a few just a handful because I thought they might be heavy I don't like wearing heavy earrings I don't know about y'all but um they are so lightweight I just absolutely love them so I just wanted to say that but um yes guys let me know what you think about the whole Monique situation leave in the comment section down below and about the, the bonnet situation in general do you wear your bonnet out do you not why do you think it's okay why do you think it's not that's all i have thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up if you like it share it out leave a comment down below and subscribe if you have not what are you waiting on and until next time take care bye